Good evening. The latest UK case of coronavirus is the first to be contracted within the country a rather ninth than abroad. Person has tested the man positive for coronavirus in the UK. Today, Londoners have woken up to a very different being city tested again. Are the recession on the record? It might be two weeks' time, it might be four months' time, it might be 12 months' time. Who knows? How on earth did it come to this? London saw itself become the first hotspot of the novel coronavirus in the UK. Since then, the virus has gone on to claim over 40,000 lives. The primary concern of the government has been to try to get the economy moving again. But with unemployment and homelessness rising, and potentially due to rise further, what of those that have been left behind? This is the story of someone trying to bridge that gap. Well, um, I am uh, Tamara Gabriel, aka Van der Peter Pierre. On my job title is Chief Executive and Founder of From Rehab to Life Foundation. Well, this charity is aiming to steer, you know, our communities away from drug and alcohol addiction, violence and crime, in particularly the youth. You know, we need to get to them before they actually uh, end up in that cesspit you know, which is very difficult to uh, ascend from once you're in that abyss. So, and this is what we're about. I eventually came to a place where I decided to um, start our own charity, you know, because we worked with various charities and uh, we decided, well, the best thing for us to do is to uh, found our own charity, to find our own charity. Which, I, which is spiritually advised like, on these matters. I'm spiritually advised. God said, start your own charity. Yes, it's affected our charity in the sense that we were just on the verge of, um, of uh, setting up some workshops in, in the prisons and in public venues and uh, in some rehab centers and... Uh, you know, hospitals, psychiatric units and that sort of thing. And so when that came along, everything went on hold. Uh, we don't really think that uh, doing an online Zoom workshop is the best way to go about it. We'd rather meet up in a park. So now after waiting so many months without doing anything, we're now looking at working in the park, maybe setting up a few workshops once we know the day is going to be sunny and bright you know we're grateful to uh, the charity commission for giving us uh, a charity registration number uh, which took about two years to get you know backward and forward with communication I understand why um, because there's a lot of fraudulent charities going around I didn't get uh, the kind of support I expected from my family or from certain people close to me when I first started. Uh, but we've even received help from churches, you know, uh, uh, helping us to promote our work. So we're getting help uh, little by little. We were offered work by, uh, help by an MP, but um, uh, it seems as though uh, <laughs> he's still yet to deliver. So I won't say any further than that. <laughs> We've also, we're also looking to uh, be self-sufficient. So we're looking for people who can help us to become more self-sufficient so we're not just reliant on uh, government funds or sponsors and so on. But this is why we're selling our book. We also have an album entitled uh, Ex Gangsters Odyssey. And that also, proceeds from that also goes to our charity. My first flat. In my first flat at Camberwell Green, where I lived from age 16. Well, the day-to-day -day operation that happens right now, for example, we're on a fundraising drive and also we're looking to uh, feed a lot of hungry, homeless people about the place and a lot of them are actually addicts and alcoholics anyway. So we're looking to help to feed them and to uh, 
and to clothe them and even to help to house them. And we're just in the early phases of that at the moment. We're actually just looking sites now where we can distribute food uh, uh, on a weekly basis, a uh, couple hundred meals, you know, a time. From, from here, someone who's homeless and so on, uh, who I've invited to come to work here. Eventually they get back into a routine, into a discipline, uh, earn some money, some commission from, from the bucket fundraising, and it gives them the self-esteem and confidence to communicate better with others and to move up forward to the next level, which is to find somewhere to live, which will help them with, and so forth. And as three turned into four, the only thing they could stop me would be the slam of the prison door. My partner in crime was Titus, a bad boy from approved school. Oh yeah, he was bad all right, when he grasped on me like a fool. We ended up at the Old Bailey, 